Good morning, America. This is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I've been reading on the window picker about the uh, Federal Reserve Bank. Because I've been thinking about it, uh, because I know that, uh, they, they, you know, they've set up the interest rates on the... Uh, stuff like that and um, they, they bail out the banks when the banks get into trouble and all of that stuff and uh, there ain't nothing about them in the Constitution of the United States of America. It just uh, somebody went over there in 1913 or 1909 or something like that and set uh, Federal Reserve up and uh, now it just got bigger and bigger and the banks got in trouble and they said I'm too big to fail, oh, I'm too big to fail, you gotta bail me out and so we just wrote them a bunch of money up, print them up, give them some money. And I uh, got low interest rates and all of that kind of stuff. And, and, uh, and them some bitches said, I guess all I got to do is stick their hand out and they got money. And when you read about them on the Wikipedia, um, you know, what you find out is that um, on the board of directors, there's a bunch of damn bankers on there. So the bankers is running the Federal Reserve on the, on the board of directors. And um, and they got one uh, chairman uh, gets selected by the president or somebody, but uh, anyways, and then they, get, they loan these real low interest rates to the banks, and then uh, they get the money over at the bank at the real low interest rates, and then the bank jacks up the rate, and uh, then when Jim Bob goes in to get a loan, they say, well, yeah, well, yeah, well we got it for two percent, you go pay it for nine percent, and uh, that there ain't fair, you know what I'm saying? That ain't right. And so I'm, I'm thinking we need to get some done about that. Change the Federal Reserve. And what we're going to do is this. When we loan money to the banks, we're going to loan it to them at 9%. And then uh, when Jim Bob goes into the Federal Reserve Bank, we'll loan the money to him at 2%. I mean, don't that make perfect sense to you? I mean, Jim Bob is not no zillionaire. And, uh, and the banks are the zillionaires. And another thing was... In 2010, the Federal Reserve made $82 billion, of which uh, I'm very happy to tell you that they gave $79 billion to the Federal Reserve, uh, to the Federal Government, uh, I guess to pay on the debt or something other, but the up and dumbasses in Congress spent it before they could do it. But anyhow, it, it gave $79 billion back. But my question to you, and uh, my question to them is, where the hell is the other four billion dollars gone to? Who got the four billion dollars difference of the seventy-nine and the eighty-two? I think that's four. Anyways, uh, I I think somebody done lined their pockets up there and uh, you know on our money. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna band together and uh, all of us and uh, was it three of us? And we're gonna band together and we are going to change this thing to where the Federal Reserve Bank starts serving the poor people in America. And uh, loan us the money at one and a half percent to two percent or whatever low percent it is. I think zero percent would be the best one for me. I, I, that'd be the one I'd pick. And uh, that's what we're going to make them do. And uh, these banks stop messing around with people. I'm trying to buy me a trailer, and uh, the dead gum banks won't give me no money for it. I said, well, because uh, uh, of the 2008 uh, drop out of the market on the real estate thing, and they're blaming me for it. Well, it was their fault, not mine. Well, why won't they loan me the money? That's what I want to know. Anyhow, so Federal Reserve Bank's going to get changed. We're going to change it. We're going to band together. So uh, give me your comments on the Facebooks and uh Twitter and uh, all that stuff and let's get some more followers going here. Let's band up America. What we need to do is the poor poor man's party has got to band together, get strong. We're all going to get AR-15s and a 9mm Glocks if you like a Glock or if you like a Taurus or if you like a Beretta. Whichever one you want to get, you can get. And uh, I'm kind of uh, uh, getting a favor towards this uh, burst of 380 for myself. Uh, I figure I'm a good enough shot I could hit him between the eyes without having to have the most power and stuff. So anyway, we need to band together, the poor 
basis, poor people, whatever we are, we're poor, I know that part, that uh, people is the other part, and the party is the last part. We need to get together and change things into Washington so we can get some AR-15s and we can get low interest loans. So that's it for today. Uh, Y'all have a great day. I'm going to go out there and get in the river and see uh, uh, if I can't catch me an alligator. Jim Bob's out.